So you're looking to calculate your break-even ROAS for your Google advertising campaigns. Now this is good for both shopping and search, but particularly shopping because what we want to know is our profit margins per product so we know the break-even ROAS we need to achieve in order to not waste any money on Google Ads. Now your break-even ROAS is going to massively differ per product based on three things. Now this is the break-even ROAS calculator I've created and the way it works is this section here is where you input your data so you know these you know these things your product name your cost of goods uh, just to reiterate and your shipping and additional costs so what this creates is your total product costs and then you also need to know your selling price of your product pretty easy to know okay and from that we can then calculate the product profit we make per product and the product profit margins and from that we can then create and calculate our break even ROAS so as I previously said, your break-even ROAS is going to massively differ. And this is based solely on the profit margins you have per your product. So the higher your profit margins, the lower your break-even ROAS is going to be. So if you want to make sure you can maximize your return on Google Ads, then you need to have good profit margins. Okay, because that allows you to spend on advertising. So this goes for Google Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads, anything. High profit margins are always good because it allows you to have some marketing spend to achieve that customer. So let's go through this. So I like to do it per product and then create an average at the bottom, which gives me my average break-even ROAS. Okay, so for a product like a PS5, so I worked previously with a gaming company um, who was just a reseller of anything gaming and they have pretty low profit margins, so it's a bit of a struggle. So let's talk about PS5s, because we had to exclude PS5s and any sort of consoles from Google Advertising based on this reason. So a PS5, the cost of goods for the manufacturer or the, re uh, the retailer is quite high. So it's $350, for example, um, and then the selling price would be literally something very similar, like $389, with shipping and other costs being at $7. So that makes £355 total product costs and sorry dollars and then that is sold for $398 which gives you a product profit of only $32 and a product profit margin of 8.23% which is pretty terrible. Not good for advertising on Google Ads. So what this means is you need to have a break-even ROAS of 12.16% in order to not waste any money on Google Ads. Now, realistically, are you gonna achieve that on Google Ads? No. So I would recommend excluding products like this from your Google Ads listings, for sure. Okay, it's just not worth it. You need to stick to the profitable products. I always recommend clients to always advertise their most profitable products in terms of profit margins, because then you'll see a good return and you can scale your account. Products that really suffer are the ones which, which have low profit margins. However, let's go through some other examples. So I've put a load of different weird examples here. So the next one is fidget spinner, cost of goods, $4, additional cost, $1, total pro uh, product cost, $5, retail price of $8. So this gives a profit of $3, but a 37.5% profit margin, which isn't too bad for it. So in order to break even with our advertising costs, we need to achieve a ROAS of 2.67%. Okay, and then something with a bit a bit better profit margins is something like a t-shirt. Cost of goods nine dollars, additional cost three dollars, total pro, uh, product cost equals twelve dollars, selling price of twenty five ninety nine, with a product profit of thirteen ninety nine, and a fifty three percent product profit margin, which means our break even ROAS is a lot smaller and a lot more achievable at one point eight six. And then let's go for another type of product. We worked with clients before who are luxury furnitures and the cost of goods are relatively low. So let's say their, their sofa is selling for $1,500. Cost of goods are $200. I'm just you know making this up for example. Additional costs, $40. So you have a total product cost of $240 and it's sold for $1,500, which gives you $1,260 profit per product. And that's an 84% profit margin which is fantastic and great for advertising on Google Ads because we have so much room to play with in order to make this more profitable and scale it. So that gives us a break-even on us of 1.19, um, yeah, which is great. And then we work out the average. So this has just worked on some. If you look at the formula at the top here, you can just see it's worked out. Oh, oh dear. You can just see it's worked out on the sums of all of these and then we just work out the total product profits and our average 
product profit margin, which gives us a break even ROAS of 1.47, which is really good. What I'd recommend you do is make a copy of this. So go up to here and go make a copy or go down to here and duplicate. If I move my face, duplicate. Yeah, do that. And then what you want to do is go through and list each of your individual products. I really recommend you do this. You should know your products inside out. And if you think that's going to take a long because you've got a lot of SKUs, maybe like 1500 SKUs, just do it. It's worth it, you know, and then go through add in all of your individual products and then you can create your average to understand your break even ROAS. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and just, just before that, if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, send me any messages about Google ads, Facebook ads or anything marketing related, please connect with me and reach out. I will reply to you. Uh, the link is in the description. All right, thank you guys.